Okay, I'm going to show you the little cheek. She's, she's as usually late by half an hour. So we are just starting about to start, okay? No. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is a rest area for two ladies. All right. Well, today is June 24th. We are at the hotel at Pennsylvania and Brookdale, Brookville. We are living soon. This is inside the park, inside the hotel. And we are leaving Brookville, Pennsylvania, going to Ohio. Okay. Hello, I'll do this. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. I want to do Jama Panta Doli. Okay. The train track. Right the, there. Yeah, this is train the train is track. Yet. The train is not here yet. But we are waiting anxiously. Okay. And here is. And here the, is so many, so many young kids with the bike. They're going to bike. Yeah, and that's this that. is him, the owner yeah. of this uh, movie camera. Oh, well, he's a bike. There are so many people oh. biking. There are a lot of kids here. Okay. 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 Just like to go over a few safety rules they have. Once again, again, your volunteer trainmen are Fred and myself, Ed. So if you have any questions, just ask any one of us, either one of us. And we're also happy to take your picture with your camera or your iPad or whatever, if you want a photo, uh, to memorialize your journey. Thank you. Welcome aboard.
you seen this? All this. Prints of color and the light did not track those. Look at these pillars. They are all full of bugs. All full of bugs. in the Guinness Book of World Records, longest continuous bar in the world. 405 feet long, seats over a thousand people in there. It's a big entertainment center. Might want to stop in there and see who's on for today because it's all live music there. Tipper's here is a part of it. That's our restaurant. That's the only restaurant that we have that is open year round on the island. This is the first general store on the left hand side, built in 1859. Valentine Dolor was the man who behind it. He owned a lot of businesses on the island. He owned two hotels on the island those early years. 1859 was the beginning of the tourists here because Mr. Dolor built a dock straight across the street where the boardwalk is. That was just a dock that they built a restaurant on. It's all those years that it was a dock, that's where they would unload two steamships at a time of tourists coming to visit the island. See, we were the only vacation land island for a lot of years. And that's the whole intent of it. The owner of the island, he wanted to make this place a nice place for a family to come for vacation. 13 steamship companies on Lake Erie in 1860 when he opened that dock. All of them started bringing tourists here. Came as far as Buffalo, New York at one end of the lake and Detroit, Michigan on the other end. Mr. Dover also built this yellow brick house coming up in the left. And now that is a Put Bay winery, also called the Dover Estate because they give tours of the house with all that beautiful Victorian furnishings. He died in 1901, but his kids still live there for a long time. His youngest daughter, she died here in 1974. That was 73 years after Dad died, and the fortune was still intact. Right. But the six and a half acres of all rock, and it's continued to keep coming back here for vacations, bring along the famous people that she did movies with, Alan Ladd, Gregory Beck, a whole slew of them. These islands are also a part of what was called the Firelands, if any of you are from the Ohio will know, know that Ohio was referred to as the Firelands, parts of Michigan also, and a little bit of Indiana. At the end of the Revolutionary War, Connecticut sued King George English war, for war damages, and King George awarded Connecticut with 3.8 million acres on the condition that they drop any claims that they had on, had on lands west of the Mississippi. The English still was in peach trees, so he made peach brandy there. And peach brandy was made there until 1920 when they were closed down by the passage of Prohibition. 
got some old fence posts over 100 years old that still hold the grapes up. Them are eastern red cedar. House, the butterfly house has the biggest gift shop on the island. Oh, your butterfly they must have a power outage. Oh, your butterfly house. Uh, the butterfly house has the biggest gift shop on the island. That's where the butterflies are. It's in a greenhouse. That, yeah, that, uh, the entrance is in the back of the gift shop. Oh, your butterfly house. Now, if anyone would like to get out here, I, uh, I, although it looks like a power outage right now, but I can take you over to the uh, winery. You can start there and walk back over here, whichever you choose, farmhouse. So my boss, he took it. They gave it to him, and he's going to restore it because it's the oldest house on the island. Dave Rivera was an interesting man. When he bought these islands, he was 43 years old. He kept a personal journal. That's where I get my information from. Mm -hmm. He says at that time when he bought this, boy, it must be a widespread power outage. I never heard any lightning strikes. Power outage on the back. I think we got room for everybody here, though. How long was the power? A casino at the, both of these Probably caves. Both, there was three of them out here, actually, because Mammoth Cave had a casino also. And Mammoth Cave was discovered in 1873. Well, the island is three and a half miles long. It's a mile and a half wide at its widest. There's 1,384 acres. There's 450 people. We spent the winter here last year. Them are the people who own businesses on the island. And the subdivision on your right hand side that's only been there a few years, they sell the lots there for 170000 I don't know if they have any left. Last year they sold quite a few of them. On the left hand side, the Island Club, there's a lot of houses back in there in the Rendell Island. That's where Canadian whiskey came during the years of Prohibition and distributed from this island to all the cities on Lake Erie. If you go to the right there, that's Miller Boat Line down there, but if you don't turn into Miller Boat Line, just keep going straight every summer, which are docked real close to the Jet Express. That's where they unload them to bring the snow down here. This is our airport. Open for business in 1931. Milton Hershberger out of Sandusky. He flew the first airplane in here. He started Island Airlines in 1935. The reason they're not in business on the island anymore? In 1974, the government changed the rules. Scheduled passenger airlines are only permitted to land at airports that have radar for the safety of the public. We don't have radar. We don't have radar. They had a rough, rough time keeping teachers, though. Eventually, they went to two teachers a year. They split the year up so that they could get to someone to stay here. 27 students the first year, not a single one graduated. Nobody graduated there for because of the quality of it was good for carving. On the left hand side is St. Paul's Episcopal Drop. Now they, there's not a lot of cars down there. So that means that uh, they're not letting anyone there because of the weather. So no one's going up on the tower. Oh. But it, as soon as they can, they'll let people back up there. Now this is the visitor center. centers at the visitor centers okay all right
Yeah, I'm a Tulchi. Okay. Okay. I'm a big camera set for them. Thank you. Weather, a lot of rain. On right to I-55 North. This is Chicago. Sears Tower, I think. Traffic mm. is too much. 53C, 55 North. 